Hello, I wanted to show you this right here. Some of you might be familiar with what this is. This is called a coin slide. It's used in a lot of games, uh, laundry machines like washer dryers at laundry mats, uh, pool tables that you'd find at bars or whatever use these. Used in a lot of different stuff, a lot of different coin op applications. Basically, I want to show you real quickly how it works. Right now I've got three quarters in here. You can change the price settings on these and I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. Um, what happens is, you push it in. It's got a ratchet so you can't do it more than one time. There would be an actuator on the back of this that would hit a switch or a timer, something like that to start the operation. Um, when there's no coins in there, obviously it won't go as far. I'll put the coins back in and show you. So I went to about there without any coins. With the coins, it'll go all the way in and back out. Basically, how this works is I've already got one apart over here. You've got a few main pieces here. You've got the actual body of it, which is this right here. You've got the slide, which is this right here. This one's set up for $1.10. The way you change the prices is you take these different dividers out. See, these are for quarter ones for 10 cents and you replace the ones you don't want to use with this little plastic slug like the one over here it has two slugs in it so it's set up for 75 um, basically what that does is if you see this would stick down further than these and the way it works is when you push it in if there's no coins in there these little fingers right here will catch on this, on the edge of these, and stop it. Now, if there's coins in there, the coins will push these fingers down and allow the whole thing to slide. Um, these slots are just where you store the extra spacers and blanks when you're not using them. Basically, that's all there is to it. And it's got a ratchet, a little ratchet pole down in there to keep you from pushing it in and out with the coins in there and getting several free plays or whatever out of it. Um, also, this top cover which goes over this, like that, has a little magnet in here. It's supposed to reject steel stuff, or uh, Canadian coins, because Canadian coins have a, have a little bit of steel in them. This will reject steel stuff by pulling the coins up and keeping them from touching those fingers. Now, a way around that is to use aluminum or something that's non-ferrous, that doesn't have steel in it. Um, just make sure it's the exact same size as a quarter, because if it's not, if it's got very much play whatsoever in that slot, it won't probably work. Um, make sure it's like aluminum or copper, although copper is getting expensive enough that you might not want to use that. Even plastic would work if it's stiff enough and in the right shape. Honestly, I don't encourage you to go out there and rip people off, but um, if you want to find how to do it, it is out there. That's basically all there is to one of these. They're, they're not too complex, but you see them a lot. And for those of you that have wondered how one works, there it is. These are made by ESD. Right there. This one will go up to $1.10, which is what I have... Or, I just want to have that one set for. This one's set for 75. You can do it all the way down to 50 cents. All the way up to $1.10. I think there's a different models that will do like 3 or $4, but this one's just $1.10. Um, here's the little slot that ratchet engages. Not much to it. Like always, thanks for watching and have a nice day.